Hello, this is English for Everyone. This is Level 4, Unit 1, Lesson 4. And we are going to talk about complex descriptions. When you describe something using more than one adjective, the adjectives usually have to go in a specific order. There are several categories of adjectives. The new language that we're going to look at are general and specific adjectives, vocabulary, personalities, new skill, ordering adjectives. 4.1 Key Language Adjective Order Opinion adjectives come before factual ones in a sentence. General opinion adjectives always come before specific opinion adjectives. All right, so we have two sets of vocabulary we need to look at. So we have opinion and we have factual. So I just Googled this right um, from the internet, and a fact is a statement that can be proven true or false. So when you're talking about a fact, you're talking about, um, let's see, like you know a tree is green. I mean, you can prove that with a, you can prove that. You can take the leaf off of a tree, if it's in the summer, and you can say this leaf is green. You know that. Um, Let's see. You can also have facts with something that you can prove either through science or um, common history, things that are accepted as uh, common or factual through history. Um, but yeah, but that's the basic definition. It's something that can be proven true or false. So you can also prove that it's not true. An opinion is an expression of a person's feelings that cannot be proven. So an opinion is basically how you feel about something. Um, and that makes it different from a fact because your feelings uh, can change. And also, you can say you have that opinion, you're having that feeling. But it doesn't make it true or false. It doesn't turn it into a fact. We also have the words general and specific, and the general come before, general opinion adjectives always come before specific opinion adjectives. So let's look at opinion and fact right now. We know general means something wide, something uh, uh, large, whereas specific is very narrow. So, but the, to begin with, let's look at opinion adjectives and fact adjectives. So in this sentence, we have, what a nice, friendly, little cat. Nice is a general opinion adjective. It can describe lots of different things. Friendly is a specific opinion adjective. It usually only describes people or animals. So can you see why these, first of all, are opinion adjectives? You can feel something is nice, but someone else might not feel the same way you do. And you might feel something or someone is friendly, but another person might feel differently. They might feel the opposite. So opinions, remember we're talking about feelings, and then the fact is little. So it can be a fact that something is little or big or large. Um, that's something that's a fact. If you look at something, we could say ants are little. Uh, cats can be little or big, uh, or bigger as far as cats are concerned. Um, let's see. So we can talk about size uh, as facts, and we're going to look at more examples. 4.2, further examples, adjective order. It's a fantastic, exciting new movie. So you can see where fantastic came first. I think they were saying that was a general adjective, a general opinion adjective, and then exciting might be more specific. And then new, that's a fact. It is, is new. It hasn't come out before. It's come out recently, and that would make it new. What a horrible, ugly plastic table. So horrible is going to be your general opinion adjective, ugly your specific 
uh, opinion adjective, and plastic is your fact. We know that that uh, uh, you can tell something is plastic or not. Maybe it's metal. Maybe it's wood. We can know it can be a fact of what kind of material it is. He's a wonderful, kind old man. Wonderful is your general opinion adjective. Kind is your specific uh, opinion adjective. And old is your fact adjective. You can say for a fact if someone is young or old. That's a lovely, stylish cotton shirt. Lovely, general, stylish, specific. And cotton is your fact. We can tell what material it's made out of. 4.3, how to form adjective order. Like opinion adjectives, fact adjectives must go in a particular order. So this, um, get out your grammar notebook so you can write down this um, puzzle chart. And to be honest, um, I did not know that there was an exact order for adjectives. I don't know if I just do it regularly as a native English speaker I don't think about it and I just do it even the general and specific I don't even think about it I just say it so it was surprising to me to know hey somebody figured out there is an actual order so we have our um, kind of I don't know if it's our subject but it's our beginning part of the sentence right here what a he's a that's a and then we have our general opinion adjectives nice wonderful lovely and then we can get into more specific opinion adjectives. Those come next. Friendly, kind, and stylish. So these two columns are your opinion adjectives, whether they're general or specific. And, you know, I really would say nice, friendly, something, something. I wouldn't say it's a friendly nice. Uh, it doesn't feel right to me when if I try and, if I try and switch the order of these words. It doesn't feel right. So, well, they figured this out. And then we have all the rest for fact adjectives. These are things that you can prove are true. You can talk about the size. You can prove if the size is true, if true or not. Whether the shape is true or not. A triangle is a triangle. A square is a square. And there are definitions for shapes. Age, you can talk about how old, how young, how uh, in, everything in between. Color. Colors can be proven. You have specific colors uh, an object is. And material. Material means what is it made out of. It's made out of cotton, wood, metal, brass, plastic, all kinds of stuff. And then you have, at last, whatever it is you're describing at the end right here.